Well, another big issue that we have to deal with in local government is the New York State tax levy cap. And that has been imposed by the governor and the state legislature on all our local municipalities to hold our tax levy to, uh, well, they say 2%, but it actually turns out to be lower than that uh, with the formula. And it really has been tough to, to live within that. And it's, it's a difficult thing to explain to the public as well because um, we have so many responsibilities to provide services and to maintain infrastructure. But how do you think you would address that on the village board? It's also a problem for school districts because the, the you know it's, it was probably easier to streamline as the beginning in the beginning of the cut, in the beginning yes. of the cap. But as you get further mm -hmm. into it, people are going to be noticing there's there's less fat to cut. And um, I think part of it is educating people about what services cost and what services can be um, reduced or shared. I think, I think that's I think mm. that probably the best way at this stage when there isn't a lot of fat to cut is to try and figure out how to do things less expensively with maintaining the same mm. level of service. And I think the other thing is to really be careful about how we spend our taxpayer dollars, spend it efficiently, think, you know, think very carefully about how contracts are administered. We've had a couple of contracts in the village that have not gone well. The Jefferson Avenue Bridge is one. And we need to make sure that that does not happen again in the village. I know there was a great fear that the Tappan Zee would be finished before the Jefferson <laughs> Avenue Bridge. <laughs> it was a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm very glad it wasn't. Yes. Well, one of the things that I did when I was on a village board the last time was hire a full-time village attorney. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was very uh, cost conscious and it paid off at the time. And you know, for some reason, it, you know, it, it got uh, negated a few years after. But legal fees are, are you know, a, a, a vast waste of taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, you know, you, you don't get anything out of it. And, you know, and that's why, you know, part of the uh, utility of having an in-house counsel was uh, that person kept you out of litigation. Mm -hmm. And when you did get into litigation, you know, gave you advice on how to, you know, be cost effective. You know, when you, when you have an attorney uh, who's billing you by the hour, he might not give you the, the advice about how to be cost effective as readily as someone who's He's just on a salary. Right. Yeah. So I, that, that's one of the ways I would look at, you know, trying to save the taxpayers' money.